PowerPoint point ko? Sure. Pwede naman. Okay po. Sige, you can start. Good luck. Class, let us let let us pray. Who wants to lead the prayer? Okay, Miss Casey. Thank you. Good morning, class. But before we start, kindly pick up kindly pick up all the pieces of trash and arrange your chair properly. Okay, let's have an attendance. How many are you today? Okay, very good. No absent today. Class, for this quarter, our lesson will focus on effective leadership and output, output expect, expected from his a list of possible research problem about local treasurers. At the end of lesson, you are all expected to... Explain how the elements, and so here is the objective. So today you will meet a different kind of leader. In our short story, we will read later. And class, who do you idolize among the leader or who you admire? Okay, yes, Jan. Thank you. Very good. How about you, Jane? Okay. Thank you. Every one of us have an idolized person for whatever reason we have. I have here a short story. Can you read it? Please, Kate. So here is the short story. Thank you, Kate. Class, did you understand the story? Let's see. I have here a few questions for you. Please read number one. Jason. Okay. What is your answer, Carla? Okay. How about question number two? Please read. Please, is Carlin. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Question number three. Let's proceed to question number three. Yes, Andrea. Please, ans please read and answer the question number three. Correct. All the leaders said that because he is the in charge duty to give orders. Okay, who wants to read a last question? And please answer. Okay. Thank you, class. I hope you picked some learning and you get more story of the lesson we have read. Class, on our previous lesson, we have discussed the different sensory images. Have you remembered the sensory images? Uh, can you please cite, Christine? Okay. This is the sensory images. And I have another sentence taken from a short story determined to what senses they appeal to. Okay, Gina, read the first sentence. Yes, what is your answer? What word or phrase shows that it is visual, Karen? Correct. How about kinesthetic? Very good. How about question number two, please? Correct. How about the last question? Okay. Very good. I have seen that you already mastered the different, different sensory images. Class, let's have activity. It's, all, it's called guessing game. I have here the mechanics. I have, here the, I have here the mechanics. Um, can you please read? 
Okay. Any question? I have here the box for the for our guessing game. And a leader, I will divide class into two groups and will be the leader of the a two score is done by the done by the leaders to determine which group would have the first turn. Okay. Okay, after our game, class will continue about class. How will you describe a great leader? Correct. An idea? Yes, Charmaine. Very good. And importantly, a great leader knows how to congratulate or give abstraction culture the lesson. Okay, let's let's move on to our topic. What is imagery? Okay, very good. How does the use of words that appeal to the senses help you convey the idea clearly? Thank you. You are all correct. You now master the concept of imagery and its use literary text. For our evaluating for our evaluate for our evaluation for, for your evaluation we will have another group activity but I will show you some I will show you some picture here Okay. okay. The mechanics is the same on the group. I will give you 10 minutes to finish the task and a minute to present your output. You also need to pick out and identify what senses the phrases or sentences you use appeal to on this picture. Am I clear, class? Okay. And for our assignment, and for our and for our assignment, think of a person who has influenced you the most with a descriptive paragraph about him or her using imagery. Okay, that's all for today's class, and let's meet on tomorrow. Thank you and goodbye. I know.